You know, Cutter, I made the mistake of trying to listen to one of your albums on, I think it was track five. And the beat kind of sounded like it was encouraged by one of your current battles by listening to an ACDC record in reverse live. I wouldn't be surprised if it cursed one of your every last fans alive. I mean, I tried to bob my head, you know, jive. After a few seconds, I said, oh, fuck it, jumped up and took a nose dive. I mean, it sounded like you and Hayes One just duct taped your mom's pots and pans to your hands and ran around and high-fived. And then you were like, dude, we could totally put this track up into Override with the up-tempo verse from Tiger Time. Here I was thinking you were clean and sober, but now I realize you've been shooting a pound of heroin from time to time, and you ghostwrite battles for people. They pay for them and then throw them away like, ah, never mind. And your low-income, high-addiction levels start just putting you in the bind. So, uh, you traded in your cell phone for one of them rotary kinds, and your KO device couldn't connect the punch to a man that was blind. So, I thought that maybe while you were down your luck, I probably tried to get your wife. But man, there was a line. I probably wouldn't get my time until fall, not even summer's time. And uh, how is it that you batter rap for a living, but you've never made a dime? And then, you've been battle rapping since back in the beta time. I mean, if it wasn't for skateboarding, you would probably have never made a crime.